Johannes Friesner, a prominent figure in the German military during World War II, was a man whose life and career were shaped by the tumultuous events of the 20th century. Born on March 22, 1892, in Chemnitz, Saxony, Friesner's journey through the ranks of the German military would see him rise to the rank of General Oberst, and receive the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves for his distinguished service. Let's delve into the biography of this notable military leader and explore the pivotal moments in his life. Early Life and World War I Service Johannes Friesner's military career began in 1911 when he enlisted in the German army. Little did he know that the world was on the brink of a cataclysmic conflict that would come to be known as World War I. During the war, Friesner saw extensive duty, gaining valuable experience and honing his skills as a soldier. This experience in the crucible of war would prove invaluable in the years to come. Between the Wars Following the conclusion of World War I, Friesner continued his military service in the Reich Sweger, the military forces of the Weimar Republic. During this interwar period, he would continue to develop as a military leader, gradually rising through the ranks. World War II and the Eastern Front The outbreak of World War II in 1939 brought new challenges and opportunities for Friesner. His promotion to the rank of General Major in August 1940 marked the beginning of his active involvement in the conflict. On May 1, 1942, Friesner was assigned to the Eastern Front, a theater of war that would prove to be one of the most brutal and unforgiving in history. One of Friesner's significant assignments during this time was the command of the 102nd Infantry Division. His capabilities as a leader were recognized when he was promoted to the rank of General Lieutenant on October 1, 1942. Subsequently, he assumed command of the 23 Corps from January 19 to December 11, 1943, further solidifying his reputation as a capable military commander. April 1, 1943 marked another milestone in Friesner's career when he was promoted to the rank of General der Infanterie, General of the Infantry, highlighting his expertise in ground warfare. Changing Fronts and Challenges In February 1944, Friesner's military journey took a turn as he was transferred to the Northern Front and assigned command of the Sponheimer Group, which would later be renamed the Army Detachment, Narva, on February 23. His promotion to General Oberst on July 1, 1944, was a testament to his leadership abilities. Friesner briefly commanded Army Group North until July 25 before being dispatched to the Southern Front to take charge of Army Group, South Ukraine, later redesignated as Army Group South. However, this period proved to be one of significant challenges for Friesner. He faced the relentless advance of Marshal Rodion Malinowski's Second Ukrainian Front, a four-month Soviet offensive that he struggled to halt. Eventually, on December 22, Friesner was relieved of his command. Retirement and later years With no further command for the remainder of the war, Johannes Friesner entered retirement. He chose to spend his post-war years in Bayerisch G. Main, a peaceful contrast to the chaos of the battlefield. He lived quietly until his death on June 26, 1971, leaving behind a legacy of military service and leadership. Influence beyond the battlefield Friesner's impact extended beyond the battlefield. In September 1951, he was elected as the chairman of the Verben Deutsche Soldaten, Union of German Soldiers, VDS. However, his controversial statements, including justifying the invasion of Poland and comparing the decently fighting Waffen-SS favorably to the officers of the 20th of July plot, led to his resignation in December 1951. During the early 1950s, Friesner played a significant role in advising on the redevelopment of the West German Army, the Bundeswehr. His memoir, Veritin Schlachten, Betrayed Battles, published in 1956, provided valuable insights into his experiences as the commander of Army Group South Ukraine. 
awards and honors. Throughout his military career, Johannes Friesner received several prestigious awards and honors, recognizing his contributions to the German armed forces. Iron Cross, 1914, Second Class and First Class. Class to the Iron Cross, 1939, Second Class and First Class. German Cross in Gold on June 9, 1943. Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on July 23, 1943. Oak Leaves to the Knight's Cross on April 9, 1944. Johannes Friesner's life serves as a reminder of the complex and often controversial nature of military leadership during World War II. While his career was marked by both triumphs and challenges, his legacy endures as a testament to his dedication to his country and his unwavering commitment to his duty as a soldier. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.